You done know it's the glorious AP, aka Patsy, Pactorious, Papalicious, Precious, Prince, Problematic, Psycho, Pats up in your blood clot, phone screens, your LCDs, LEDs, nothing else called Pinamana, Pinamana, what? Pinamana, Pinamana, what? <laughs> what the rascal like plasma? Uh. What's happening, people? Done know. Come on, I mean all of this food. Could I go hold in a hole? Could I hold right? Kita grandchildren or foisa dia kaya ni balakali, kena zaman itu aku bicara ni kore. Heto tish pasal macam ni pun aku hamper sana ada benefit tu, korang boleh kahli benefit. And he 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 zaman he zaman kita kore. Heto zuah kele, kita video kahli asyik dah kahli mune. Ayuh, amar kita amar kita amar korang ayuh dah kahli mune. Tuh macam zaman kita kita zuah korang foisa mana? Kuda korang kuda. Iba dia amar 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 ni ayuh kita ก็สุดแล้วก็สุดแล้วก็อาทิตย์ก็หนุนแล้วก็ฟูลิตรีก็ทำอะไรล่ะฟูลิตรีก็เรื่องเวสต์ไลน์ก็ชาร์จฟู
big man thing in it. That's shout to my daughter for doing that because you have to act self defense. I don't give a fuck who these people are. If someone comes to attack you, you have to attack them. It don't matter, family or no family. We yeah, have big man thing, so shout out to my daughter for that. You get me? Boy, Kasha. But anyway, listen to this. So my daughter is telling me how apparently I don't want to know her, but I showed her, of course I do want to know you, yeah, but you're the one who's acting up. So she goes, yeah, mum doesn't give me no money. Yeah, my nan doesn't give me no money. I'm like, hold on. But I pay, I pay off £1,013.69 in CSA. So where the fuck does that money go? Obviously, I get split between three baby bumps. Yeah. So when I get split between three baby bumps, so how much is that? That's about £340 each that they get or some, some shit like that, yeah? I'm not really good with maths. But they get something like that. So when they get something like that, yeah? Why is it my daughter said that she has to go on road to do moves and make money? Like, what the fuck is all that about, cuz? It's sad. And this woman goes to for she's military and her husband's like, yeah, some Pinocchio, those Pakistani dude, yeah, from up north. Yeah? And then I hear from my daughter, yeah, when the time that she used to live with her mum and that, enough times her stepfather used to come lay on her bed, on her bedroom and that, and lay on the bed and go sleep there. And when her mum's in that room, I'm like, what the fuck is all that about, cuz? And you got your own room, yeah? With my leftover, you get me, yeah? So you sleep on you sleep on that in that bedroom with my leftover cuz big man thing. Why are you going into my daughter's room and sleeping on her bed? Like what type of sick shit is that? But obviously we know so a lot of you Pakistanis out there, yeah, are known for grooming and raping young girls and all of that, yeah, child molest and all that. Yeah? And it's in our Muslim community, but majority of it comes from the Pakistani Muslim community. Yeah, not Bengali, not Indian, Pakistanis. And obviously this dude is Pakistani and it's also from up north. Originally, it's from up north. So obviously, we know there's a big issue with Pakistanis up north. And no offence to the Pakistani people that I know, because I've got a lot of Pakistani friends, yeah? And I know some of them are going to take this to offence. I'm not saying all, but there is, you know, <clears throat> a minority within your nationality, Pakistani nationality, yeah? This is what's going on. So obviously, I'm going to try and get to the bottom of all of this, bro. Yeah, it's mad. Anyway, my daughter now has been escorted out. Her mum doesn't want to know her. Her nan doesn't want to know her. But yeah, check this out. For a year and a half, almost two years, her mum has given up my daughter for adoption, made it out that I can't, uh, I'm not allowed to see her or have her. Anyway, social services took about three, four months trying to get hold of me because my daughter had a court hearing and because she's under 18, so legally, whether I'm involved in her life or not, they have the right to give me all the documents and the paperwork, all the statements, all the shit that's going on because as a, legally, I'm, I'm, supposed, I'm obliged to know all of this. Her mum made it so difficult for them, so they have to do other, other, other checks and that, then they find out on a Sunday they come hand delivered this much paper, yeah. And the shit that I've been hearing that how my daughter's getting abused and doing bare madness, yeah? even from home. I'm thinking, right, so this is not on my upbringing, your cuz, yeah. And my daughter's like, now from what I hear, she's involved in certain gangs. I don't know how much of my daughter says no, but I hear all of this, yeah. And she, obviously, on several occasions, my daughter's beat up her mum, like. You can't say that's the dad's fault because that's not that's been deprived. But the only thing that the mum's money is money, money, money. So for a year and a half, almost two years, her mum has been illegally taking CSA from me. Furthermore, she's been taking child benefit, which is your lot's taxpayers. You know, you lot are taxpayers. I'm a taxpayer. She's been taking money from there. Child benefit. I told her, listen, I'm not grass, but you want to stop the CSA shit because I will inform and then and let the authorities know. Well, we have to go down that line. But yeah, while this is still investigating, it's two years long, cuz. I'm still happy to pay CSA for a child that does not even live with her mum, yeah? This is what you call uh, Muslim w w uh, gold diggers, yeah? I don't give a fuck, bro. I'm Muslim myself, but this is the disgusting Muslim women that we have within our community. It's a shame. They are pulling. Anyway, I hope your other children fuck up and mess up in life. I don't give a shit, yeah? You fucked my daughter up, yeah? You fucked her mentally and emotionally, yeah? She's fucked. Because of your upbringing, your Pakistani upbringing, not Bengali upbringing, your Pakistani upbringing. Yeah, my daughter's on the streets. Yeah, my daughter's head's messed up. Mum doesn't want to know me. Mum doesn't give me no money. Like, I have to do things, other things on the road unless I have to make money to get to buy clothes. You sick, sick individual. How can you do that? Oh, yeah. You can go to the police and make up your allegation, accusation, whatever. I don't care. I'm talking facts, I'm talking truth. I am going to release a book of my life, yeah, I'm actually wor working on it, yeah, I'm actually working on a book, Married to Muslim Gold Diggers, and then obviously, I'm not going to put in there that word, I was actually married to one of these women, while I was married to her, her mum had an affair with her dad's best friend, her, her dad came home and found his best friend in the bed, in his bed, 
yeah, with his wife. Anyway, so this man eventually had a divorce. Then the mum was married to his best, to the best friend. This is pa uh, Pakistani, by the way, yeah? Facts, no lies. Then while I was married to her, her mum was causing so much friction between me and her, so she could get her, her, her to have a divorce from me, right? So then she could get her married to her new husband's brother, yeah? So this is the stepfather's brother because he's an illegal immigrant. And I've got witnesses, I've got holy for witnesses, even my people in my area now could... This so-called um, uh, uh, new husband, so which is the wife's stepfather's brother, he tried to attack me holy for times. Man smashed him up. Man punched, fucked him up. He's got a metal plate or something stored into his jaw because I broke his fucking jaw. Facts. Yeah, Peter, there was witnesses to see all of that. Man tried to come blow up my car and shit. Man fucked him up a few times. Man caught, catch him slipping. He was a cab driver. Man seen him in traffic. He had passengers. One had they dragged him up, fucked him up. I don't get this is all in the past. This is going back in, this is like, all 2004, 5, 6, them times there, yeah? Holy pajamas, isn't it, yeah? The man they tried to get my yard up, like, by all of these other people from Tottenham and that. Man had to go there and scuff all these people. But anyway, this is all another palaver story that I don't want to go into all of that right now, yeah? Now, my daughter, she's distressed. She's emotionally messed up in the head. Now, I tried to get my friend. I don't have my daughter's telephone number because apparently her nan and her uncle broke my daughter's phone. So therefore, I can't even phone my daughter. So I got my friend to phone up her mum, asking for her number. Her mum says, oh, tell him to go die. He's, he, I don't want him to have any communication with, his, with her whatnot, yeah? So this is a Muslim woman, you know? This is someone who goes on and she prays five times a fucking day. And my daughter's distressed. And I can't even talk to my daughter. And she said to me that I need help, I need, I need support. So man, I was going to try to send her some money, yeah? And then obviously find out where she is. Now she's up somewhere in Newcastle, cuz. Man live in London, cuz. My daughter's up in Newcastle and her mum doesn't give a shit. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, ya Allah. May your worst, worst, worst curse be upon these, upon these women. In life and on their kids, I don't care. You look fucked up. But one of you look fucked up, my kids. I wonder what's gonna happen to the others, man. Because one, one of the one of the mothers will hundred percent hang on my heart, and I'm eating food. I'm not lying. My daughter will be sold to the man who asked to take her hand. Minimum 10 15 grand cash is gonna be have to be given. She will be sold, not given as a, as a bride to be to the next man to a groom. She's gonna be sold as a bride to be to the groom. Yeah, this is facts. Yeah. And then, my other daughter, I just hope she doesn't get brought up to think that it's normal for her to sleep with her first cousin. Because that's sick. You know, to be staring in a shame bed you know, with her cousin when she's in her, in her late teens and shit. So this is sickening. But anyway, so you don't want to come and chat and shit to me, yeah, online. Right today, you don't know nothing, but anyway, yeah, you look, go the way you want to do. I'm publishing a book. I don't know how soon, but it's going to be soon. And I'm working on it. Married, yeah, to Muslim, British, gold diggers, and um, a woman, married to a woman that was having a sexual relationship with her cousin, and a woman that was sold for £10,000 cash in a marriage. Otherwise, her mum and dad was going to have a divorce. Mamba clot! Whoa. It's a mad thing. Mad thing. Mad thing right now, you know. Yeah, Allah, please guide my children into the right path. Make them become good Muslims, good people in society. And may you take away all the troubles that they have in life. I mean, pray for my children all the time. It's something that you lot don't know. It is what it is, but listen, I'm right of here, yeah? Love to you lot, peace.